Good morning. It's Saturday. Holy cow. I am so glad it's the weekend. So today, I actually made a last minute decision last night to check Google Maps for national monuments around here. One that I hadn't seen yet that got really good reviews was the Chiricahua, I think is how it's pronounced. It's a national monument in the southeast of Arizona and it's just like all these rock formations and it's not like the red rocks that you'll see up towards Sedona. They're a little bit different. They're like really sculptural and kind of like architectural looking and just like bizarre. They call it like a rock castle wonderland or something. I was like debating last night whether or not I should go because it's almost a four hour drive from where I'm staying. So that means eight hours of driving today. But that's what I decided to do. So I got up early this morning. This is the first time I actually set an alarm on the weekend to get up early to do something. So I'm gonna stop at the visitor center, see what they recommend, and then go check out some of these cool rocks. I can't wait. been freaking trail running because I want to have time to see as much of the park as possible. Also, I brought an Impossible Whopper. If you guys haven't tried this, you really should. Even if you eat meat. Actually, especially if you eat meat. This place is freaking incredible. Maybe trail running was a bad idea because I'm so tired. But I just hopped off the Echo Canyon loop to do this other trail to Inspiration Point, which I think is one of the highest points. And the visitor center told me from there you can look down on the hoodoos, which is really cool. And this trail has been obviously mostly uphill because I'm trying to get to a high point. But I saw a really cool rock formation called Mushroom Rock. And I think I'm almost to inspiration point because I'm pretty much above everything now. Pretty darn cool. Damn.
back to trail running. Ooh, on the way back up, less than a mile. Oh God, but we're back at stairs. Oh, what a glorious sight. Hi, Camellia. Oh, Lordy. fashion there. Uh, so now time for the drive back, which will be oh, another three and a half to four hours. Can't wait. That was insane. Like that was out of this world. Those rock formations are crazy. And I gotta say it was a pretty good idea bringing an impossible burger. It was so satisfying sitting on some rocks just like looking out at that vast expanse of hoodoo formations and just eating a freaking burger. <laughs> yeah, that was that was like the burger of a lifetime right there. <laughs> but damn, what a day. That was awesome. Good morning. It's Sunday. Yesterday was freaking amazing. Uh, today, I think it's gonna be a little bit more chill, but we will see. I'm not driving as far at least. The plan is to first go to the Boyce Thompson Arboretum, which is about an hour away. And my friend recommended it to me and said that she could have spent like an entire day there. I want to check out the Tonto National Monument. They're pretty close to each other. They're actually like right next to each other. For sure doing the Arboretum, gonna head there right now and check out some awesome plants. I'm so excited. The photos look incredible. And then, yeah, we'll see if I have time for the National Monument. If not, I'm not gonna be able to do that because today's my last day really to explore before I leave Phoenix. Um, the rest of the week I'm just working and then I'm heading out on Wednesday to Santa Barbara. Let's get to it, shall we? Also, check this out. I finally freaking got a mount for my phone and it's a wireless charger for the phone so this is a wireless charging pad and it's obviously powered by the car so I plug it into the USB and it opens automatically and then okay wait wait <laughs> I clearly need to learn how to use this but when it senses your phone is in there it clamps down and you can see it's charging how cool is that I have no idea if it's going to be able to actually charge this phone, but whatever, we'll find out. Casual. The 
Air Freedom was awesome. I really kind of zipped through it, but saw so many cool plants. But now I'm at the Tonto National Monument. It's about 2.30, so I have a couple hours before they close out. I'm pretty excited. I just, when I was driving up, saw like one of the cliff dwellings. I love shit like that. It just makes me feel like I'm in real life National Geographic. Let's go see if we can buy an American the Beautiful Pass. That would really make my life. And let's go explore.